Um, welcome back to part two. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we were going to do it in two parts, but the wife does ring from the supermarket and at the most inconvenient times and halfway through my my spilling my guts out on on the international web, you know, she's uh, asking me what I want for dinner and like I need any more food and we go away back to London for a few days and it's bank holiday, you know what I mean? And it's her birthday, so yeah, mind you, I have, uh, yeah, so welcome back to part two. This is part two of um, of uh, Colin Pop Joy and um, dealing with life. I say, <clears throat> back to the uh, script, we have got a fishing trip planned while I'm in Barnet area. It's to Jack's Lake, which is in Hadley Woods. Um, it's a lake I used to go to when I was a kid, a young teenager, and I started my fishing career. And um, I'm going to take, we was there the, not so long ago, just check it out. It's still there, it's in good condition. Apart from a bit of rubbish, it dropped by litterers. And um, it could do with well, we're going to go there and going to fish it. We've been getting back into fishing, course fishing. We're doing a bit of sea fishing as well off the coast of Essex. Uh, we were trying to brush up on our and hone our fishing skills, tying knots, trying different baits, trying different setups. It's all, you know, things have moved on in the fishing world. There's all, I've got a son playing Lego in the background, sorry about that. Uh, I saw I'm making a video at home, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> yeah, I, I like to get out there in the um, big wide world and get some plenty of fresh air, take the boys with me, teach them those survival skills. And uh, that's the main thing, teaching them the things I used to do when I was a young lad. You know, can we all sit at home looking at the vid, making videos and and... You know, I used to sit there playing Lego, eating sugar puffs, watching Channel 4, watching the Falklands, watching Northern Ireland on TV, you know, with the goodies and uh, take myself to Scouts and um, all the rest of it. Uh, and that was my life in the 70s and 80s. And... Um, here we are in 2021, 22 nearly, and uh, yeah, oh, some of the some of the blogs on I subscribe to on YouTube are um, amazing where people live and uh, the, what they do with their lives and out in the big outside in Alaska or you know Canada and and. Uh, living in on you know off grid with their own you know having to work hard to maintain just normal life um yeah can you do that in essex go off grid and uh whilst you know bend into the rat race and the paying your bills and paying your landlord you know you can dream, but can you really can you really get out of what society you know tries to drag you into? Uh, I'm straying off uh, tax here, and I, I uh, <laughs> everyone has to work, pay bills. I understand that, buy property, pay the rent. It's um, fact of life, isn't it? How do we have time to? You know, like all the, all the, all the half of London empties out over the summer holidays, pours down the beach, and uh, all their brand new motors and down the beach, swimming in the sea, flapping about, and and then back down the motorway, back home to reality, and living in all close knit on top of each other. You know, with crime and and everything and. And just putting up with it, and it's just nonsense, all of it. Crime, pollution, uh, you know, just buying all that 
that stuff from Asda and and then chucking it all in the bin, you know what I mean, afterwards. And uh, it's just sad, really. You know what I mean, sad we live in a society that just doesn't care, is greedy, it's just out for itself and just dog eat dog, you know. I just find it, it's hard to, to just be a part of that. And, uh, I, you know, at the moment I'm I'm looking at people living on boats and um you know doing them up stopping them stopping them sinking basically and then starting from scratch and then uh you know living an idyllic lifestyle and I'd like to do you know I I'd like to do something like that but um I don't know if I will I don't know if I'll be able to if I can escape the uh the trappings of, I won't say family life, but modern life, you know, and modern life is looking after your family and paying bills and keeping the wolf from the door and making sure there's food on the table. It's <sighs> going to live in America and all have guns and just go out and blast some wildlife and drag it home and put it on the dinner plate. That'd be good, you know what I mean? And just, hell yeah. <clears throat> drive V8s, what, what, what life, eh? Maybe I need to move to America, you know, way down south somewhere and uh, just be a, one of the crazies. This England's far too stuffy and snobby and, you know, everything to non sea and I've got a beach chart and it's worth 50,000 pounds and oh, would you like a cup of tea? It's good, you know. <clears throat> What a mad world. And football, football, football. Oh, I mean, I did like Euro 2020 and I just watched all those people getting drunk and jumping up and down and I just had a feeling. I knew it, you know? Well, I just don't... Uh, it doesn't tickle my... It doesn't get my pulse... It did get my pulse racing, but, you know, you can't... It's just so unpredictable. It's a, oh, the, the nation sank after them penalties and, you know, I'm not going to go into all that, but really disappointed. The Olympics is good, you know. You know, it gives you something. We all miss sport and that's another point I want to make, you know. It's, fishing is a sport and, and uh, yeah. Uh, if there's a sport I can get into, it'll be fishing. And um, I've got my rod licence. I've picked up my gear. I'm getting new tackle here and there. I'm learning new ways of catching carp. And, um, you know, and any any new species, specimen species, you know, that's, uh, that's the, that's what tickles, tickles my float. You know what I mean? Floats my boat, whatever. I'm just going to end the video there. I'll be back on the next one. But um, thanks for tuning in. It's time for a cup of tea. Do you know what I mean? And just uh, I think I think of a new topic to enthrall you all, amaze you, and uh, hope we'll post some pics of my uh, fishing uh, exploitations, shall I say? And uh, is that the right word? expeditions and uh, tr fishing trials trying to be a better fisherman and uh, yeah see you on the next one cheers <laughs>